สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. I am making Thai fresh spring rolls today, or what we call ก๋วยเตี๋ยวลุยสวนก๋วยเตี๋ยว means noodles and ลุยสวน means sort of venturing into the garden, which denotes the fact that these are so full of vegetables, super super good for you. Which works for me because my 2015 resolution is to eat more vegetables. So these are actually a little different from the ones that you normally see in Thai restaurants, the ones that come with peanut sauce. This will be a little different. Let's work on the filling first. I am using tuna today, canned tuna, which is actually a common filling that we use in Gui Tiao Lui Suan. And I particularly like it because it's so accessible, so fast, and it's healthy. I'm just going to season it with some oyster sauce. Rich, thick. Mm. It's just going to give it a little more moisture. And I'm also going to just drizzle in a little bit of olive oil. You can just use canola oil just to lubricate it. If your tuna comes packed in oil, you do not need to add this. It's just mine comes packed in water. So just needs a little lubrication. Some black pepper. And I'm also going to add some minced or small diced onion just to give it a little bite. Now, of course, you can go with shrimp, in which case just blanch them. You don't need to do anything with them. Give it a little taste. I usually add a little bit of soy sauce to it, but because every canned tuna, different brands will have different level of salt to start with. So you want to taste it first before you add any more. Just a little dash of soy sauce. Another really good ingredient to use in this is sesame oil. If you want it to have that toasty, nutty aroma, a little dash will work really nicely. I'm going to leave mine there and let's look at the vegetables. The spring rolls that you normally find in Thai restaurants usually have a lot of noodles and then some vegetables around it. But I actually want to make this with no noodles because that's the way Kui Tiao Lui Suan is in Thailand. The only noodles that we have is the ones that are on the outside. So I've got some cucumber, which are actually mini cucumber like these. And it's perfect because it's the right length. So this is going to be the length of my rolls right here. You can use regular cucumber as well. Julian carrots. Both of these I actually blanched in some salt water just to soften them up a little bit. And the reason why I blanch them is because normally when you use noodles, the noodles keep the rolls moist. But because I'm not using any noodles, blanching the vegetables keep help make the rolls moist and not too dry. And I've also got some tomato that I julienne. I took out all the seeds. And I've got some alfalfa sprouts. You can use broccoli sprouts or you can just use finely shredded lettuce too if you want. But I think these are these are fun. And of course you can also you can be really creative once I made this with avocado. Really good as well. So that's my filling. Let's roll. So in Thailand, the wrap that we use for Kuitia Lui Suan is the fresh rice noodle sheets, the same kind that I use in my drunken noodles and patsiu episode. And if you can find those, you can use those if you want. However, I wanted to show you something that, that is more available for everyone, which is this rice paper here, the same kind that um, they use in Vietnamese spring rolls, which is great for this. So I've got some warm water here and by warm I mean as warm as you can handle because I find that if the water is too cold it takes a while to soften the sheets and the sheets sort of they become a bit chewy so as soon as it's pliable like this you can take it off and it will continue to soften on the table so there I put it down in this order the sprouts eh, that's good the cucumber, the carrots. Actually, it doesn't matter what you put down first. <laughs> I just tend to, as long as you put the sprouts in first to sort of be that, that bed to absorb any liquid, anything else can go whenever. The tuna, the tomato, just a couple of pieces. Thai basil. Normally, I would use mint, but Mint is not available anywhere in January in Vancouver. Couldn't find any, so I'm gonna go with Thai basil. I could use Thai basil and mint if I wanted to, um, or cilantro, but there's gonna be cilantro in the dipping sauce, so I don't want to overdo it. So a couple of basil leaves just on this side, and now folding it over. You can fold in the sides first, and then go over here, 
the important thing is to make it tight so that when you cut, it doesn't fall apart. And ta-da, there's one. This is the best part of Kuei Teo Lui Suan, the sauce. Now instead of that creamy peanut sauce that you often see in restaurants here, which we don't actually have in Thailand, what we use is this fresh, light, tart sauce that's very much like a salsa verde and it's also very similar to the seafood dipping sauce that I've done before. So, super simple, some garlic. Lots and lots of cilantro. Now you can do a combination of cilantro and mint, but as I said, I can't find mint anywhere in this city. Lime juice, lots of fresh lime juice. You want this to be to lead with sour. To cut that tartness, some salty fish sauce, of course. Some spicy, some ooh, Thai chilies. Some sweetness. I like to add a little bit of honey. A lot of people just use sugar, which you can, but I think honey just add a nice floral quality to it. There you go. You can also use palm sugar, of course, and that's it. I'm just gonna blend it up. And yes, you can use a mortar and pestle for this if you want. Now, once you've blended it and you feel like it's a little thin, you can add more cilantro to thicken it up. Mmm, oof, that smells good. Which is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Get in there. That's good, that's looking good. It's still a really thin and light sauce, but I do want a little bit of body so that it doesn't run all over the place. Mmm, oof. Ooh, that smells like Thailand. Nice. That's exactly what I am looking for. I wish I had mint for this. The reveal. What I sometimes do is if I don't like this part because the end always has a lot of wrap, I will cut it off, trim it off just a little bit. Then you don't get you know, a piece with a whole bunch of wrap. You cut that off. And now it's a little more equal. There you go. It's nice. So <laughs> I tasted this dipping sauce just now and it's really spicy. So I better be careful. So not too much. Nice. And it's got the right consistency. So it's light, but it's not running. Perfect. See, what I love about these is as you chew, it just kind of blooms in your mouth. First, you get the tuna and the chewiness of the tuna, and then you start crunching and munching on the fresh cucumber and carrots, and then the basil hits, and it's like, mmm, a, a splash of floralness just fills your mouth, and that tart spiciness of the sauce just brings it all together. So give this a try and let me know how it goes. Take a photo, send it to me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. The recipe, as always, is on hotthaikitchen.com and I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.